Welcome to Jamestown, Virginia. In May of 1607, a hundred English colonists arrived here along the west bank of the James River and created the first permanent English settlement in North America. The settlers were dispatched from England by King James and the London Company to look for gold, silver, exotic people, and the Northwest Passage so that they could trade with China. They, they took three ships, the Susan Constant behind me, the Godspeed, and the Discovery. There was little room for large instruments. However, there is evidence that some of the colonists brought the recorder, maybe a trumpet, as well as other instruments. There were absolutely no women. I am not sure why, but this settlement is not given as much attention as the landing of the pilgrims in Plymouth 13 years later. We are on a quest to find what music they knew, what music they brought with them and experienced in the new settlement. Those were the two things. I am searching for signs of musical life on the ships and tell me what you know about music on board the ships. All right, music on board ship. Now, um, something that's kind of important to keep in mind is that most music in the time period is actually being produced by the people themselves. So if I were to go to a tavern, say, when I'm ashore, I would have to bring sea shanties and songs with me to the bar. If we want to have music, we're going to start singing. Uh, smaller instruments would be pretty common on board ship. Uh, violin, fiddle, trumpet. A lot of these instruments are primarily used as signals on board ship. That's not to say that the instruments wouldn't have been used for enjoyment as well. And a lot of songs that uh, we would recognize, some of them would have been around in the period in some form or fashion. Um, word choices are a little different sometimes. Uh, a common song that everybody would know is Ring Around the Rosie. That song's been around since the 1300s. Uh, one of the verses at the end, instead of we all fall down, is we're all going to die. Oh my. And so things of that <laughs> nature. So a lot of the music in the period doesn't have um, a family friendly orientation, so you won't see a lot of the music being performed out here. The other problem, a lot of the music was done by ear in the period. So they, we have lyrics but no notes. So we don't have, so a lot of the music we have today is 18th century versions of 16th century songs. Now, when you say that the instruments were used as signals, what do you yes. mean? Um, let me take a very common one that's still in existence today called the bosun's pipe. It's a small pipe about this big, which the bosun could then use to blow a tune, which would then instruct orders up into the sails and the rigging. And they would go to set sail, furl sail, or to move the yard for aft. Um, trumpets were often used between ships to communicate orders within a fleet so that you could give an order, say, a three note, a certain three note blast would then call all captains of the, mate of the ships to the flagship of the squadron for an officer's meeting. Um, drums were also used where you could drum up all the crew for an all hands on deck type of scenario. The bell that we have here at the very back of the ship would have been used every half hour to mark the time on board ship. And they would have been using that bell to keep track of the, of the increments of half hours. When we get to eight, it's a signal for the crew that's working to come back to go to sleep, and the crew that's working or sleeping to come to work. Can you tell me the, the length of the ship and how many, how many people were sleeping below deck? Length of the ship is 117 feet long goes about 12 feet in the water. So underneath us here, if you take a look out, you also see we've got about six to eight feet before we get to the water line. And that's what's down below. Uh, there would be 54 colonists living in the middle section of the ship. When you look down right through here, that middle level is called the tween deck. That's where the 54 colonists would have stayed. The very bottom level is the main cargo hold 
that's going to be for the supplies for the colony for the most part. Do you know of any music making that took place uh, down below in the four and a half months that they were underway? They don't mention any music making specifically. However, we do know there was a priest in our minister on board. And he would, of course, been doing services uh, during the trip across. And so, um, as a religious age, there would have been a lot of church hymns and things of that nature, if and when he did services. And it's most likely he did. Do you know what denomination he was? Church of England. Anglican. We are entering a recreation of the first settlement of Jamestown, Virginia. That was the cannon. Here is a representation of what one of the first homes may have looked like for the first settlers in the New World. And there's the church. Just a larger version. And the white building to the right is for tobacco drying. We are inside the Cape Merchant's office in Jamestown, Virginia, and we are speaking with someone who knows if they shipped musical instruments back and forth from England to America. My name is Carol. This is intern Kayla. We're here telling the story of the men of Jamestown. And they actually did send their musical instruments. Each man carried his own personal instrument, whether it was a violin, a fiddle, or any such thing, a drum. They all carried their own instruments over. And did they ship anything from England over to the new colony, such as a harpsichord or that, that you're aware of? I'm aware of the fact that they did send some things like that over, and it just depended on the taste and the talent of the men that were sending for them. The Anglican chaplain, Robert Hunt, brought with him the Book of Common Prayer, which was originally published in 1549. It included psalms and canticles to be said or sung between the readings. It is the official prayer book of the Church of England still today. It may have been a noted copy, which means that it included music notes. Careful, no, no, no. Stop. Not nice. <laughs> what you find? Projectile point or as most people oh, arrowhead? Look at that! Pretty cool. You they could be just the second one to hold that in 400 touch years. It. If oh, 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 neat! <laughs> okay, musical items include a copper alloy trumpet mouthpiece circa 1610. A Bone Sham Pirouette, 1610, Iron Jews Harp, 17th century, Copper Alloy Bell, circa 1610, Copper Alloy Tambourine Symbol, circa 1610.